you know, some days <clears throat> you just have to stop what you're doing and have a look around you. This is where I live. It's not bad, is it? Uh, my bathroom, right. Ah, uh, right, there was the rock down in this corner here. As I said, I've decided to remove all the walls in here, which I will do. This has got to come out as well. Um, the walls have gone here. There's my shower ready to go in. Um, I'm just stuck for space at the moment. So the next thing is, this is going outside with the new loo. And that will allow me then to get to the floor, which I need to wire wool. Uh, then I will put a coat of metal protectant over it, some sort of hammerite or, or I don't know what, what product you would call or have in the States, whether you have hammerite or not. Um, then I will repair any holes, re-insulate it and um, reboard it. Uh, this is only a tin, sort of tin plate, really, really thin. Um, so I'm not, it's not structural, so I'm just going to... to, to, to protect it all from the inside and then at some stage I'll get underneath the vehicle and protect it all from there as well uh, it's the best I can do really um, yeah so that's pretty much where we are I've got okay the first half of the floor is now treated it's all been rubbed down that wire wheeled off and treated you can see the holes in this tin sheeting that they put under the frame it's just basically it's just a protector so what I'm going to do is um, I might cut some squares of possibly aluminium or even a thick like um, plastic sheeting but the flexible stuff like PVC um, and lay those in on a bed of really strong sort of sycaflex or something like that um, and seal them in completely so that then when I do the outside I can get to the bottom of this tin plate and clean it up and give it the same sort of protection as much as I can um, but it's not a structural thing um, as long as I can stop any water or animal ingress then um, I, I'm, I'm happy with that it's, it's not in any way affecting the quality of the work or the, or the rebuild so yeah so there we go more in a minute boy oh you join us on a Monday the day after Easter Sunday, don't know what the date is. This is my new friend, right. Damien. Hello. Um, this is his camper, his American camper, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna let him tell you about, about it and uh, we'll have a quick look inside. So mate, oh, tell us all about it. It's uh, a... 1980 Ford Poachman Leprechaun. Uh -huh. um, six birth, um, had it about 18 months. Feel free to have a look around. And have you done a lot of the work in it yourself? Or? Yeah, a fair bit, yeah. Oh, so, new carpets, brilliant. um, fridge changed, lines changed. Yeah, it's really nice. Certainly gives me hope for mine because uh, I don't know if you've been watching my videos. Yes, I've been watching videos. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, they've um, I'm, I'm I've got no bathroom at the moment, but wow, this is all gorgeous, it's really nice. This is, has it all been recovered at some stage? Or? Some stage, yeah. Yeah, it's really well done, isn't it? Sorry about the wobbly camera, guys. Wow, it's really nice. This is your click-clack bed, obviously. And this is like a, a mini dinette this optional going, yeah. table. Yeah, they're going to dog bed as well. Yeah, wow, that's brilliant. And it's got the advantage that both the seats face forward, so it's legally a six-seater with seatbelt. Ah, right, so you can... Yeah. Oh, this, this one here will go the other way. Get the right. That is so clever. Oh mate, I love that. That is really clever. It's legally six-seater, all facing forwards. Fantastic. 
That is awesome. Do you know I've got I've still got mine. My um magic chef. But my door comes down to like there and then it's kind of loose when it gets to here so it stays open a little bit. Oh, yeah. So I, I I'll have to have a look, see if there's a spring for it. Yeah. But I can't believe how well you it's all been like modernized and cleaned up. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And then in the back in the bathroom. A little bathroom. Wow yeah they still, squeeze it all in there. Yeah, squeeze it all in. Yeah, my shower tray was, you probably saw in the video, it was, it was cracked all the way down this corner, along that co bottom corner and along there as well. And then there was like crazy paving across the, the middle, like, so I've had to rip it all out. Well, we've done, we done all wall and everything. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a nice colour as well. Wow. If you're wondering what it is. Yeah, what is it, mate? Is it flooring? Yeah. Good man. Vinyl flooring. Because if, it, if it'll stand up to feet, It'll definitely stand and, up to it. Yeah, absolutely. What a brilliant idea. You, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and seems, seems like it's because it's heat resistant as well. Yeah, that's that's really clever. So use lino. And this is your fridge. This is just a, is this like a household domestic fridge then? It's um not a camper van, British camper van one. Ah oh, right, okay, yeah. So that what's that running off of like a twelve oh good as you've got the priorities in there. Yeah. Yeah, food? It's, what food? Yeah, it's 12 volt, 240 or gas. Oh, right, okay. That's that's awesome, yeah. Now, see. Yeah. Microwave up in there. Microwave in there, yeah. More of the necessaries. Yeah. <laughs> and this is your panel, is it? Is that, yeah. is that original? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so Battery well. life. Well, battery's good. Gas level. Uh huh. And then you've got water pump. Yeah. There's no water in there at the moment. Then holding tanks and water level. And it, electric generator start. Oh wow, that's awesome. So, it, and, and it's, it's obviously a petrol because you're running off yeah. LPG as well, I guess, aren't you? On the back? No, on not the engine, not the engine, yeah. No, no? Yeah. okay. It's all, pet, it's all petrol. Oh, what's, what size lump is it? It's a seven and a half litre. Four, seven and a half, same as mine, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mind you, with this, because it's, it's a, what's this one, about 20. Five, four. 24 feet. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I bet it pulls like a demon. Yeah, it? it does go well, yeah. Yeah, because well. you haven't got the extra, like, <laughs> yeah. nine extra. feet. So, yeah. awesome, mate. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Soon to be for sale. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, you, you're getting another one or? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> well, you heard, you heard it here. It's for sale. <laughs> if he tells me how much, I'll let you know, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for that, mate. That is awesome. Well, there you go. Me and Damien, awesome camper. Will be for sale soon. If I do know, I'll let you know. Okay, this is what I'm trying to squeeze into the bathroom. This will be right here. I've got all the enclosure parts. That's, um, sorry about the camera, go around here and up. So I've had to extend the bathroom. I'm going to have to extend the bathroom this way. I'll bring the shower off the wall so I can get around that, which is the fuel filler, into the tank. Uh, what I'll do is I'll build a second wall here, but that will also allow me to run all the pipes up from my water tank, behind that, up, and out of the wall, sort of here, with a shower head, etc. So that's actually okay. Uh, there's the water tank. I've got the vanity unit there, which I'm going to have to cut down because that's got to actually fit over the top of this. Um, and the parts I cut out, I will then because it's too short as well. So I'll drop one end fully over here between here and the, the, the shower. The sink will come to about here somewhere. And then what I cut out, I will make a fake front here and a top. And then I've got a little shelf for doody daddies, whatever. There's my loo, um, and that'll be my little six litre uh, cistern, which will be hidden in the wall. And there'll be a, just a button that comes out and is mounted on the front of the, you know, of the wall itself. And then there'll be a worktop back at the small, what worktop, you know what I mean, a little shelf across here. So that again will step forward and then down. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I've got to look at getting from there to there. That might be an issue. Um, but what I have decided is all this grey stuff, it's all RV, American sizes, it's RV sizes and stuff. I'm just going to do away with it all. I'm going to come right back to basics 
and I'm going to replace it all with flexi hose system but British domestic flexi hoses because that way I can then plumb in my toilet system, my toilet, this, my shower, I can use domestic right through um, which is going to make life a lot easier. So that's basically where we are. Um, yeah, still got these wires coming down here to sort out. That's they go out the back, and that's where the hookup will go. The main the shoreline hookup, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, they'll come in, and we'll put a, a breaker box and all that on that. Uh, put all this back now. Little rots cleared out. Insulate it. Polystyrene over or styrofoam, whatever you want to guys in the states call it. I don't know styrofoam over the top. Put this the, the pieces I've cut out back in. And then I'm going to put the black, a black cladding, uh, wall cladding, o excuse me, over the top. So uh, there, that's where we are at the moment. Uh, more soon. Right. In order to get my water tank, which has to sit here, like there, because all the plumbing fittings are here, this shower tray has to go that way. The problem is, now that I've taken down the dividing wall here, between here and the dinette, I'm going to have to shorten this bench, and I'm going to replace the table anyway, because it's knackered, but um, I'm going to have to now shorten this to move the wall enough that I can slide this just three centimetres that way. I'm also going to have to trim down here and across underneath shorten that by three centimeters hopefully that door will still open and close i think i've just about got enough um, space to do that so the whole wall can basically move three centimeters that way so that i can get my shower in and my water tank in then the vanity unit will go over the top and the toilet will be fitted here as pretty much where it was that is basically the only way all this is going to go in what a pain in the neck hey guys thanks for watching the video much appreciated um, don't forget to hit the like button and of course if you'd like to follow my restoration don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well um, in the meantime safe RVing safe journey and see you soon